All right, fun day. Um, thought it was an exciting weekend. Appreciate our fans for coming out. I uh, thought it was a great atmosphere for a spring game. Had a, had a nice crowd for our man trip. I know our players appreciated that. Um, the fans were here early, and they stayed, they stayed the entire game, which you don't see in, in, in spring very often. So I appreciate that. Obviously, for a great cause. Um, enjoyed uh, being around and, and having our friends from the WVU Children's Medicine uh, here to start the game off. I thought that was, uh, that was a neat aspect. Obviously, I hadn't been a part of that before, and, and to see those uh, children at the start of Hoss's Walk, which was, a, which was a, a great event, and then to have them at the beginning of the spring or at the spring game was, was really neat. Had a large group of alumni that were here uh, starting all day yesterday, um, and then we had an event last night, and then carrying through uh, pregame today. And so in the uniform reveal, just a, just a, a great weekend, a great kickstart to uh, to this new era. Um, I think the uh, this is the start. We can continue to build something here, and make it more of an event for the spring game. Um, as far as football aspect, I think it was a typical spring game. I think there were some really good aspects on the field and some things that are obviously we need to get corrected before we line up and play James Madison at the end of, at, at the end of August. We're a work in progress. Um, I think that we talked about three goals when we stood up here at the press conference before, before we uh, started. Is Number one is we wanted to fundamentally get – uh, get better and we wanted to make sure that we were able to teach the techniques and offense defense special teams um, I think we're improved I don't think we've arrived fundamentally yet but I think we're definitely improved um, the good thing is we got summer and into fall camp to continue to grow in that area second thing is we wanted to teach our base schematics and offense defense special teams I think that has been accomplished I think our guys that were here uh, do have a, fun, or a, a base understanding of what we want to do in all three phases. And then last thing is we want to ID personnel. And I think we have um, a really good idea of the guys on our team right now that we can go out and play. We have some really good competition at certain spots. At some spots, quite frankly, we don't have enough competition in, in either freshmen or guys we got to continue to, to find and build on this roster as we go through uh, late spring into the summer. Uh, some guys I thought that stuck out, I'll, I'll start with the defensive guys. Um, uh, Stone Wolfley, uh, he had two sacks, two tackles for a loss, thought he was active. Um, X-Ray Lowe, I thought he, he really showed out today. He's a guy that plays with great energy all the time, um, but he was really productive. And then Jordan Adams had a nice, um, had a nice pick um, and then had a very immature penalty after that. So I was glad they flagged it. Um, uh, and then I thought Derek Pitts, he's really – I think he's grown one of our most improved players uh, this spring. Uh, he and Shea Campbell, uh, Vandarius Cowan also did some things. Thought Shea Campbell had his best day that he's had this spring. And then Keith Washington had a nice play. And if I didn't blow the whistle, he may have, he may have returned that interception for a touchdown. Offensively, I think if you look at it, uh, Letty Brown, who we wanted to get a bunch of touches in the second half, we were able to accomplish that. I'm not sure these stats are right, so don't necessarily go and print those. Um, but I thought Letty had a really nice day and showed really what he's shown all spring. Uh, he's been really consistent, and you hear me when I use that word consistent, I think that's one of the best, best uh, uh, really ways I can describe somebody on our football team, and he has been consistent. Uh, Sam James was productive. Uh, he's a guy that, that needs to be a playmaker for us. You know, obviously young at that position. We lost a ton of production at that uh, position. I'm excited about him. He's talented. Um, to see him with people in the stands make plays was, uh, was definitely encouraging. And then TJ had the big one. Uh, he's probably been our most consistent receiver all spring. Uh, we were careful with him. He didn't, he didn't play as many snaps as some other people. And then Dylan Spalding uh, made a great grab there to finish the scrimmage. Um, I thought Tevin Bush. And Randy Fields on the blue team. Bush is a guy that uh, we've got to find, be creative and find ways of getting the ball. Uh, and then Randy Fields. And then uh, Seals and McKivitz uh, have been the bright spots on offense all, all spring. Really, really guys, again, consistency is the first word that pops in my head. Um, but I think they've kind of been the leaders on offense and done a nice job. So with that, I'll, I'll open it for questions. Now, what do you think of the quarterbacks today? Yeah, you know, it's tough to watch them. Okay, now obviously today I had a little better view than I normally would because I was standing in the back. Um, you know, starting with, starting with Jack, I thought he was, uh, he was a little tight early, missed a, missed a post ball. thought his decision making uh, at times was better than it had been through the spring. Um, throws a really nice ball. We've got to get him not to float around in the pocket. He's got to move up in the pocket and help his, help his offensive lineman. I thought he made some connections downfield. Um, 
maybe one that that got called out may have may have been in. We didn't we didn't use replay today. Um, I think Trey Lowe uh, had some nice runs. You know, I think if we if we were actually tackling the quarterback, he he may have even had a couple that he would have broken off. Um, and then I thought Kendall uh, did some really good things throwing the ball. Excuse me, throwing the ball down the field. Um, Again, he's got to get the ball out of his hand faster. I think that's the biggest thing for him. Uh, it's been a long time since he's played, you know, and, and I think that he got in a rhythm uh, after about the third series, and I thought he did some good things. A lot of downfield passing. Was that by design or was that the quarterback's decision? No, we wanted to. Yeah, we wanted to. That, and if you go back and look really over the last two years at Troy, you know, our plays of plus 20 uh, have been up there, and I think that we got, you got to threaten defenses vertically now. You know, guys in the secondary that are really well coached do a great job of reading routes and those type of things. Our guys are no different. I think we're talented. We got some talent in the secondary, and I know we we're well coached in the secondary. Uh, so we wanted to threaten threaten the guys downfield and and really give some one on one opportunities. Jake Abbott won the Nicholas Ford. Your thoughts on Jake and his friend? Yeah, and, and what I'll say on that is is first of all, a very rewarding, very rewarding, and that uh, you know you talk about. Uh, Jake, and you talk about a guy that's all in. He's all in on being a Mountaineer. Um, he's a guy that has great effort, uh, great attitude every single day. Um, we, we do a game changer of the day, special teams. He's won that multiple times this spring. Um, and here's the deal. I'll tell you right now, he, he's going to be a factor on defense. You know, he'll, he will be a factor for us in the fall on defense. And great winner, carried it into a great spring. Um, I think he's got a chance to be a really plus player for us on special teams. I think he, he's continuing to grow and his role is going to increase on defense. And I think as he goes through his career, he'll be a leader for us here as well. You said since the start of spring, when you know, you'll know in regards to quarterback. I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't mean to. Get, I, here's the thing I'm going to go back and watch this. Um, will we have a pecking order after this? We may. You know, all right, I, I, I won't, I'm not going to commit myself to anything right now. Um, I think we've made strides at quarterback. I don't think we're ready to go play a game in, 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 in just yet. I think some of that's probably because we've, we've divided reps. Some of it's because none of them have played a whole lot of meaningful snaps. Uh, I do think we've made solid progress this spring. Um, do, am, I, am I ready to crown a winner? Probably not just yet. Will your offense be dictated by who plays quarterback, or will your quarterback be dictated by the offense? No, it, it's – We'll always call – our offensive play calls and the system we're going to run will always be dictated, first and foremost, what the quarterback can do. Second is what we can protect and what, we, and what we're best at at the offensive line. The rest of them are, will move the pieces around as needed. But as far as what we do, game in and game out, dictated by quarterback and the offensive line. How refined is Austin's ability to sell the play fake and how can that help him? Yeah, I think he's done a nice job of that. I do. I think he, he does a really good job on the play fakes of, of – Shift in his body weight. I think his ball handling is improved. Um, what we've got to eliminate with Austin is just a negative play. You know, he saw the one where he took a sack. He spun out of it. Um, you just can't have big negative plays. And um, I don't think he threw a pick today, which is something that he did do early in the spring. So I think we're growing in that regard. Um, but he's got a he's got a, his feel in the pocket. Um, and honestly, he just needs reps. It just takes reps. That's something that you just got to go out and play, a bunch of team reps to understand moving up and moving out of the pocket. Thoughts on James and his play in the vertical game? Yeah, he, and I said this. I think he's I think he's a guy that I'm excited about. He he runs well. He's coachable. Plays with a lot of energy. Uh, very, very humble, but hungry as well. Um, I think his future here is really bright. About the catch he made where he made the – I couldn't see it. <laughs> I couldn't see it. Yeah, I, I really couldn't. I thought – I. I thought Austin did a really nice job throwing the ball. We always talk about not – there's two places a receiver can't make the, blow, the, the play on a, on a go ball. If you overthrow him, can't make a play. If you throw it out of bounds, can't make a play. So, if you get it anywhere else, then, then you're doing, doing the right thing. I thought he threw the ball on a line. Um, and, but I couldn't see Sam. Couldn't see, I couldn't see the catch. What are your impressions of Mike Brown? He's a guy that's relatively new to football. It seems like it, it's starting to click for him. Uh, he is. We're going to give some awards uh, tomorrow, and and he'll he'll get one of those awards at our at our team meeting, team dinner tomorrow night. Um, really improved. He really improved. You're talking about a guy who didn't play football in high school, didn't play one single snap of football in high school, and played in junior college. Um, then came. Um, 
you know, really proud of him. I am really proud of him learning the game, learning what's expected of him. Still got to drop some weight. You know, I think as he drops weight, he's going to be more effective, but he's really strong. He's explosive. Um, but yeah, he really proud of what he's done and how, how he's improved as we've gone through the spring. The one on ones downfield that you were talking about, are you okay with saying, I've got these receivers that I'm okay with throwing the ball up to and hey, let's win those battles? Yeah, I think that's part of a quarterback as you go and you and you get experience you figure out who who are those guys that are capable of making those one-on-one -on -one plays and in college football the way it's played right now is you've got to win your 50 50 you got to win your share of those 50 50 balls um and i thought at times today we did a good job of that um, quite frankly we haven't done as good a job as we need to as we go through the spring um, as we've gone through the spring. Um, but definitely, I think as the quarterbacks learn their personnel and they get more reps with those guys, that's why summer's cr critical for their continued development. But they got to understand who they can trust and who can make those plays on those 50 50 balls. You have a couple of scholarships available. Immediate help needs? Do you need a couple of guys who can play right away? And if so, have you ID positions? That you we do. I think we're always going to be creative here as far as how we build our roster. You know, and, and we've got. Um, I think if you look at our running back room, we got competition day in and day out. I think we need that in a lot of rooms. Uh, there's some rooms we don't, um, and, we, and we need to continue to grow. Um, as far as what we need, probably not going to talk about right here, but I think that we're definitely going to be active you know, late this spring and into the summer as far as adding some pieces. Lost a coming, lot of pieces coming. off of the defensive line from last year, but you do have some guys back that got some experience. Just how do you feel about that group? I think it's bright spot. one of the bright spots of the spring. Um, I don't think we have enough bodies there just yet. Um, but I think, like, this system, I think you're going to see Darius Stills be a, be a productive player. I think what we're doing, what Coach Vic and Jordan Leslie are doing with our defensive front, I think he's a guy that can be productive in our system. Um, Dante is, is starting to learn to play. He kind of turned his ankle a little bit, so we held him the second half. Um, but he's got a ton of ability. And at times this spring, he's really been difficult to block. Uh, Reese, Reese Donahue has been real solid. Um, we, need, we need a guy to keep coming around Darius. You know, Brent Thrift has shown some signs. Um, but Taj Austin and, and Pooler both have done some, some good things. Uh, Pooler has, I think, made as much stride, you know, outside of Mike Brown as anybody this spring as far as just steady improvement. Coming, coming in, you know, the running backs look like they were going to be a real strength on the team. There was nothing dynamic there today. Uh, that Unfortunately, it's determined on how you block. <laughs> we didn't block. We didn't block the red. Re, uh, we just didn't block very well in the run game. Um, the one series where we did, where Letty Brown got going, the opening drive of the second half, um, I thought he did a really good job of being patient and bouncing those runs outside. Um, but we weren't as good in the run game, which is disappointing because Tuesday in practice. Uh, we, we, had, we did a lot of team activities, and we blocked the run game and fit the run game as well as we have all spring. Thursday, we were, we were pretty good. Today, I, you know, from what I could see, I didn't think we did a, did a very good job of, of uh, fitting. When you're going against yourself, is it good defense or is it bad well, that's, blocking? Or nah, it's, it's sometimes you got to really be clear, you know, because it's, uh, it's really tough. I always say you really don't know what you have until you play your first game. And, and I believe that. That's, that's been the case almost everywhere I've been. One more question? Okay. Thank you very much, Coach. Good deal. Thank you all. Appreciate, appreciate you all being here, being steady all